Now, there are four of these new changes that you need to know. The first one is the time duration for the exam. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Juliet and all I basically do is teach you tips, strategies that you need to pass your piercing test of English exam. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. So in today's video, I'm not providing strategies. I'll be giving you some important information that you need to know. Now, the piercing test of English is changing. This means that the official piercing, the owners of the exam, they're bringing about some new changes in the exam. But these changes are not starting immediately. These changes will begin from the 16th of November of 2021. Now, just stay with me to the end of this video so you know these new changes and what you will expect coming forward or going forward from the 16th of November 2021. There are four of these new changes that you need to know. The first one is the time duration for the exam. Now, usually or currently, the exam runs for around three hours, but the new change is that it's going to be just for two hours. And the second one is that the number of questions will reduce. You will not be having a um, lot of questions across the exam anymore. This means that, for example, if you have a task like the described image that used to have like six or seven questions in the exam, it will be reduced to three or four. And if you have all those multiple choice questions that used to be that used to be like two or three in the exam, you have one or two of them in the exam. Now, the next change is um, the optional break you used to have between the reading and the listening module will no longer be available. So this means that you will need to um, pee or do whatever you need to do before you come sit for the exam. You're going to stay put all to the, for all the exam or all to the exam till the exam ends before you can stand up. And then the fourth one is um, that your score report will change. So just stay with me to the end of this video so you know how these things will be. I'm going to break them down. Each of these points I have raised, I'm going to explain them more in details in this video. Okay, guys, so here is the PowerPoint presentation of the changes or the update for the piercing test of English exam for 2021. Remember, I said these changes will begin to take effect from the 16th of November of 2021. Now, I'm just going to explain them in details as much as I can so you understand. Okay, so the PTA exam, the first change is the duration of time. And we know that the PTA exam has always been around three hours, at about three hours or so. But from the 16th of November of 2021, it will only last for two hours. And I'm going to show you the breakdown of the task and how it will get you to two hours. So you can see time allocation. You can see the introduction, and then you can see the... Um, introduction, which is um, um, personal introduction, it will be one minute. And um, you can see here as well, introduction, one minute. And you can see the time frame now is one minute. And the time frame from the 16th of November will still be one minute. Then the part one of the exam, which includes the speaking and the writing. Um, currently, we're having it run for 77 to 93 minutes, but from the 16th of November, is going to be between 54 to 67 minutes. The part two that includes the reading um, runs for 32 to 41 minutes now, but from the 16th, you will have it run for 29 to 30 minutes on the day of the exam. Then the optional 10 minutes break is taken off. Then the part three of the exam, which is just your listening module, which used to last between 45 to 57 currently, from the 16th will now last between 30 to 43 minutes only. Okay, so this is the second change. The number of questions will reduce. Firstly, we know that there are 20 question types in the PTA exam, and, but that is not what is changing. We're still going to have the 20 question types, meaning that we are going to have the five tasks in, in speaking, the two tasks in reading, five tasks in um, reading, sorry, two tasks in writing, five tasks in reading, and eight tasks in listening. They are not changing. However, of these 20 question types, their sub-questions is what will reduce in number. Here is what PTE means. So you can see here, you can see here on this for the speaking module, the read aloud, which used to be six to seven from the 16th, will remain six to seven. Repeat sentence, which is to be 10 to 12, will remain 10 to 12. 
But this crime image, which used to be six to seven before, will now be three to four. The retail lecture that we used to have three or four questions now from the 16th to we'll have one to two. You can see here I have number of questions from 16th of November 2021 and the number of questions now. So you can see answer short questions um, from the 16th, you have it to be five to six and no longer 10 to 12. Then the total number of questions for speaking and writing, you know, they have to be part one, will now be 28 to 36 questions in all as against the 39 to 48 we currently have now. Then for the writing module, the question type is here, which are the summarized written test and the right essay. Then the number of questions that will change from the 16th of November, for the summarized written test, you have one to two, as against the two to three we currently have now. But the essay will remain the same. Is that you're having one essay or two essays from the 16th of November as what we have now. So there's no major changes in the writing apart from summarized written test that you would have um, one to two instead of two to three. Now for the reading module, you can see here for the reading module that um, the reading and writing fill in the blanks will remain the same. Reading fill in the blank and the other paragraph will all remain the same. That is their question numbers will remain the same from the 16th of November, 2021. However, the multiple choice questions, both the single and the multiple answers will reduce in numbers. So we used to have two or three, two to three of this question type on the day of the exam. But from the 16th of November, we'll just have one or two of them in the exam. That is sigh of relief if you ask me because those questions are not really very important questions in the PTE. Then this brings me to listening, which is the last module of the piercing test of English. We can see here the question type, the number of questions from the 16th of November, 2021, and what we currently have now, the number of questions we currently have now. Now the ones in green, just like I've been doing in the previous slides, you can see them summarize spoken test, which is usually the first um, task in the listening. We used to have two to three, but from the 16th, we'll have one to two. And the multiple choice, choose multiple answers, and the multiple choice, choose single answers, will be cut down to one to two from the 16th of November. Filling the blank will remain the same. Highlighting correct word will remain the same, two to three. And the right from dictation, which is the last question and a very important question, will remain the same, through, um, three to four questions. However, the highlight correct summary, which used to be two or three, will be cut down to one or two. And then select missing word, which used to be two to three, will cut down to one or two. So you can see here that the major task in the listening module, aside from the summarized spoken test, will remain the same. There are no changes to those ones. Now, this brings me to the third change in the Pearson Test of English update. The optional break, I know I've been saying it, but I need to explain it a bit here. The optional break after reading module will be removed completely. You know, during the exam, there's this optional break between reading and listening. So after your reading module, people usually stand up to stretch their body, their legs and all that. People stand up to go to the toilet, but now it's been scrapped off. So this is why you're still having two hours as against the three hours that the exam used to last before. So you won't see this optional break. That means that if you want to go to the toilet, before the exam, try and go to the toilet. Anything you want to do, do it before the exam, because once you get into the exam, you won't have that um, opportunity to do that again. Now, this is the fourth change. The score report will change in appearance. You know, before we used to have the communicative skills and the enabling skills all at a glance on your test score report. Now, from the 16th of November of 2021, the score report will change in appearance taking off the enabling skill. The enabling skill will be totally taken off from your score, uh, from your score report. And um, what will be in place of the, according to Pearson Test of English or the owners of Pearson Test of English is that you repeat, you receive a report on how you can improve in the skill area that you're lacking in. So it's as simple as that. That's why I want you to stay with me on this channel. So as they try to bring more uh, clarification to these changes, I'll bring more of those clarifications to you. Okay, so this is what, these are the changes you need to know. I'm going to do a recap of these changes. The first one is the time duration, which is to be about three hours. Now it's going to be cut down to two hours. Then the next one 
which is the number of questions you reduce. I've explained it to you. So you see that, not that the, the, um, the 20 questions reduce, no, but the sub-questions that make up the 20 questions are what will be reduced. Then the next one is the optional break, which is to be observed between the reading and the listening module will no longer be there. It will be taken off completely. And then the fourth change is that your score report will change in appearance. No more enabling skills. Rather, in place of it, you will receive a report on how you can improve in the area that person thinks you're lacking. Brings me to the end of this video. This video is not to startle you or to make you afraid in case you are thinking of, oh, how am I going to pass this exam or is it going to be more difficult? Now, person is assuring you guys or every one of us that the exam will not be difficult to still remain in that level of difficulties or level of <laughs> or level, whatever level it has always been. These are the only changes that I have mentioned in the video that you'll be expecting. So I would want you to stay put on this channel as I will bring you more updates as Pearson updates us on their recent changes and any other information that Pearson would have. Have you followed me yet on Instagram? Now you can find me on Instagram at English underscore prep class and I'm also on Facebook at English prep class. Please remember to turn on your bell notification so that you get new videos from me because I upload videos every week. And remember to hit the subscribe button. Don't just get all the information and go away. Remember, hit the subscribe button. It's so visible here. Then that would be nice to, for you to be part of this family. Thank you so much for staying true with me at, um, to the end of this video. As